Okay, today I got my sliders in that go up there um, on each side, the front slider latch. And uh, so I have to figure out how to get the top off because it doesn't really um, unlatch like that. So we're gonna take down this top front panel here so that I can unlatch the latch manually. And then we're gonna remove this back here so that I can uh, get inside the top part. Next, we're going to loosen the bolts on that hold this in on both sides so that we can get it back just a hair. And we're gonna see whether we can replace the two front things and if we can make everything slide back and forth and work again. It's possible, but not probable. We're gonna start up front here. We're gonna take out all these little screws, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That'll pull down this front thing, remove those, and we can uh, push these manually back up in there. This one will come undone when we redo the back thing, because I'll just pull this uh, and it'll disengage. This one's not connected because it doesn't have, um, it's broken. So, as you can see, this top has been played with by a lot of different people and they made it a mess. We're going to see whether we can actually fix it. These first screws are uh, Torx T20s. And you just take them out. We'll do it quickly. I removed all these screws, so this will just pop off. But we're not going to pop it off yet because I want to remove this rear spoiler, which is these four screws across the back. And that will give me access to the little motor. Okay, so these are the spoiler screws. I'm inside the trunk looking up, lying down on my back. We're going to, uh, I think they're a T25. Yeah, they are. And uh, we're just going to take out the four screws. So I removed the four screws and this thing just kind of, it's stuck on with some sticky stuff. I don't know if that's factory or not because somebody else has been in here. And then we just remove this one uh, plug. So you can see underneath here we have this flap and if you just be careful because I don't know if this sticky stuff was on there from the factory but it's on there now and uh, you get it on your top where the guy did and it's gross. Anyhow that is where all these little screws are here. So we're going to pull those off. Um, we're going to use this tool here because it's much quicker. Don't drop the screws. So somebody's been in here before and these were not put down, put in correctly. There's a little piece that goes here. Um, we're gonna have to figure out how it actually works because I've never actually seen one that was put together. But it connects these right in here um, it loops around, I think, and then you can pull those tight. Back in the middle here, this is where we release the pressure on the, on the motor. So I just have to pull out those three screws. We'll do that with our gun. One, two. Oh, there's only two screws. And then there are two different screws, so keep an eye on those. Okay, so here is our little motor thingy, and we're gonna take off this one, and this one's missing because somebody's been in here, and that will release the pressure on the thing so I can slide it back manually. This is what it looks like inside here. Each one of these runs one up the side pillar, so you pull them up just to disengage the gears right here, and uh, and then you can push it back manually. I'll show you. Okay, we've come to the part where we're gonna pull down this front part. There's a couple of uh, snaps in there. Oh, I forgot to take out that one, oops. Okay, I forgot to remove that one. But now it just comes down. You see there's a snap right here. And you can leave it hanging. But you can see in here now, 
that this is where this goes. So to um, unhook that, you would, this one's hooked up, so I just need to pull from the back and this will pull back and unrelease that one. This one is zip tied because it was coming up. So we gotta cut the zip tie and then push that back. Let's see if we can figure that so out. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, I'm gonna snip this. This is gonna release our top. Well, not really. We need a screwdriver or something to push this. You see, you see how it just releases? We need to pull it back though. So, I have this little tool here. Let's see if it'll work. Hard to do while you're videotaping. So I'm in here with, with these and I just push that up like that. And now it's come back. This one, if you look in here, I just push this back. I can push it forward again. But I, I use this this little tool and I got it to stick right here and I pulled that back and that released this little bit right here. So now we need to get this to slide back. It's all messed up right here. We don't want to force anything. So I just, it was kind of just stuck in there. So I, I gave it a pull pull and it pulled out. Now all these have come unglued right here. so. I'm just going to run a uh, needle and thread around them because I don't have any weird glue to use for that and see how that works. Okay, so we've got to the part where we have to release this back part. Um, so if you look in here, you can see uh, there's, a, there's some thing going on here. So if you stick your finger in there, You have to, hold on, I can't see. Okay, you gotta push. You gotta push down on one of these. Oh, there you go. So you lift that up and that lets you push up this little lever manually. Here, I'll show you from down here. So I push that up and this side is back past the pillar, which means I can release the tension by taking out this screw and, or just uh, loosening this one down here on both sides. This one I haven't got to go back all the way. I'm not sure why, but um, we're gonna use a little force, probably a bad idea. So this one just pushed back and, and the pillar made it had enough room to get out probably because of its brokenness. So if you can see here, this whole thing is totally broken. So that's how it pulls out. One, two, three, simple. Now this side is being a little harder. There must be something going on in there. I might have to pull it forward again to see why it's not going backwards. So I ordered these online from England. For some reason, that was the closest place that I could find them. It came with this package that has those two things here. And uh, I don't know where these springs go, but I have an extra set of those too from the my, my box of parts that came with the car. Um, so I'd like to figure out where they go. And uh, we gotta rivet on these uh, hold downs. What we're gonna do is we're gonna rivet that on just like that. Um, I only got two hands. That's our issue. Hold on. So I got the rivet in the rivet gun. We're sort of doing this. I'm trying to do it with one hand. Let's see. Where is it? There it is. Looks like this rivet worked. We'll do that on the other one. So while I'm in here I found another zip tie. This was zip tied together so we have to figure out how that's supposed to be. Obviously it needs a new top but we're gonna try and fix it. So all I could do to fix this was to zip tie it better than they had it 
and uh, then I did a quick stitch around here to hold this back. Really not great, but um, I might finish this up just a couple of stitches, keep it ready. Although I can do this at any time, so I'm not going to do it right now. So what we did was we leaned this thing way back, took out the two screws that were in there so that it could get more flex. Um, I hooked in this and just slid it in a little. And now I'm going to push this into the hole like that. I can do that because the motor's disconnected. Push it in. Uh-oh, I did something wrong. Okay, I didn't do it wrong. So we're gonna get this back as far as we can here. So I got that in and Okay, that's in all the way, right, like that. So this is just to there. This one could go back a little more. So I put on the side pillars, and now this whole thing, I think, because it's pivoting on there, should pivot into place, and then I'll tighten those up, and it'll be in the tracks. So let's see if that works. So I had to manually slide this thing so that it would come down and then this got into the right track so now I'm just gonna pull it all the way forward get it into place and then close up the back and then we can try it good idea I pulled it almost all the way forward now I'm threading in these we're anticipating that it's gonna work it did get hung up a little on the alignment here so we're gonna have to play with that a little but we're not quite to that point now I'm going to push this all the way forward and it should manually lock itself. Um, get into place. See it's... And then I'm going to close up that box once it's in the correct place and I think it should work. So I think how this works is you pull this as tight as you can and you tighten that screw at the same time. And then it comes down and it makes sure that that's all tight. So we're going to try that. So to get this back together, see is that in focus? Maybe we're too close. So we just got to line up everything into there. And it might need a little, might need a little push like that. So we need these to go into their little areas. And then we put the top on. Our next obstacle is how to install this. So I put in this screw first on the end and then push this one forward to give tension on the top. Um, and I do that on both sides. We don't want to have too much tension because I don't think it'll close and that could be one of my issues. We'll find out. Okay, this is the moment we've been waiting for. It's probably gonna hopefully work but we hope we can stop it before it breaks itself somehow. Oops. Okay, we're gonna hit the button. We stopped it just to see how it's going. It looks like it's going well. I have a little, I never did anything with that back part, but let's see. It seems to be working, let's go forward. Again. Ooh, look, it doesn't quite close over here. It might have gone too tight on that. You see how it you gotta push hard on that? Maybe we need a little speed. Oh, there it went. Let's see. Okay, that worked. The first part is working. Now we just need to see if we kept it to there, we'd be perfect. But we have a wife and she hits buttons and doesn't know how to stop them. So we need to make sure it can go across that threshold without breaking everything. So let's see. So it looks like we figured it out. It works like new. 
and then it closes back up. What do you think? It goes all the way back, which is good, but once it's all the way back, you gotta help it forward because it's not lined up right. If you watch, if you watch this come through, that one came through okay. That one came through. Let's see what's going on over here. Well, it doesn't look like it's going to get too messed up. Well, it's time to face our worst fear, which is the wife hitting the key button. Here we go. Oh, no, I hit the key button. What's going to happen? It looks like it went all the way back. 